Sarah Archila with Pure Gold. I'm here with Lindsay Black. Hello. And uh, my goodness, just the thought of what we're going to be cooking is making me hungry. You know that. How are you? I'm doing great. And this is one of my favorite dishes. Um, I actually just made it last weekend when I was at the beach with a bunch of friends, and it's so great because it feeds a lot of people. Uh huh. And that's um, what I need with my big family. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So today we're making easy oven baked chicken tacos. Now, Amen. exactly. There's a there's a spicy version, and then there's the Lindsay version, which is not spicy. I like the Lindsay <laughs> version. And, and yes, I was I was explaining to Lindsay. I'm from Colombia. Uh, yes, I speak Spanish, but no, we don't eat spicy food in Colombia. That's, um, I, I could probably visit then because <laughs> I, I, Thailand, certain parts of Mexico, in India, I, in India, in India scares it's me. It's spicy. I'm going to lose my tongue or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Colombia we don't. I mean, very seldom. And, mm -hmm. and so people think, oh, you know, you're Colombian, you probably eat spicy. No, I don't. Yeah. But I mean, it does not mean that if I go someplace and it's a little bit spicy, mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's okay. Yeah, I, I can take like a, a mild medium. So this, yeah. this dish yeah. works well for me and relatively easy ingredients and probably things you have around your house. So um, one way that I, we're kind of cheating here today and the recipe calls for this actually is to use a rotisserie chicken. So it's already cooked, you can grab it the day before, stick it in your refrigerator and you're just going to um, take the chicken from that as your chicken for your tacos. Nice, perfect. So you've got the rotisserie chicken. It calls for a half of an onion, some green chilies, refried beans. Your, um, I'm using whole wheat uh, flour tortillas today. Um, the other recipe I've seen also uses the hard tacos. Yeah. Um, I like the soft tacos because I feel like you can reheat them easier for another meal. Right. The hard tacos um, I have found aren't good next day. So unless right. you're going to eat it all right there, I would go with the soft tacos. Um, and of course our cheese. And yes. I am a mozzarella girl, but my husband loves the Mexican um, and four cheeses. So I do a mixture of both. Yeah. So you can so. get a little bit of everything. And then you want to have some toppings. And so I've got some uh, fresh avocado here. And then I found this really delicious looking um, peppery sweet corn salsa. Oh. And so I thought, you know, what Why the heck? Not? I'm going to try that as a topping and then also with some chips. Yeah, we'll and let then, you know how good that's it, that exactly. is. Exactly. <laughs> and then most importantly is your taco seasoning. And right. if you're real fancy, you probably already have it pre-made at home. But again, we're cheating. So um, you can pick this up at your supermarket. I got the original. It um, calls for spicy in the recipe because it's a spicy. But I, I knock it down to the mild because I'm a sissy. So. <laughs> We are sissy. I am a sissy. Yeah. <laughs> so it starts off, we're going to um, take our rotisserie chicken okay. here. And we're just going to peel the meat off of it here. I think I need to get my scissors. Oh, I can't hear it open. So we're just going to take our chicken out here. All right. Okay. And we're going to just start peeling that apart. knife. So one reason I love this recipe is I can do a lot of this ahead of time. If I wanted, I could, you know, go ahead and do this the night before and yeah. it's already ready to go. And then that way I just throw it in the pan and it literally can take 15 minutes if you do it that way. Once you have the chicken already mm -hmm. ready and. Yep. So we're just taking the chicken right off the bone all of it dark white you know obviously be careful not to get any bones because this is going to be like the chicken like when you go to a mexican restaurant and you get those chicken tacos that are so delicious it's going to taste just like that mm -hmm. but you can get them at home so. well maybe even better is your recipe <laughs> yeah i think so but yeah i'm partial <laughs> i'm partial you're partial with yeah. yourself <laughs> i love to cook oh, i mean yeah. i really and and to me this is just great the fact that I learned new recipes um, we did a recipe one time um, with a zucchini mm -hmm. and like a spaghetti yeah. well I ended up buying the the spiralizer yeah, of course I did isn't it and so great yeah and I have done 
uh, more than once I have used it. So it's wild how you can't even really tell the difference from the pasta. Oh yeah, it's really just you know, and it you is. don't know it because and you it's think so healthy, right? You think I gotta have that pasta, but then when you take it and you switch it out for the zucchini, it's really just a texture. Yeah, and it's yeah. very similar. And it is. Um, and the flavor is the the mixture of the meat and the spices. That mm -hmm. so so basically you're not, you. We're not going to miss the pasta. No, and your your um, thighs will thank you for it <laughs> <laughs> as well. Any, I tell Pilar, anything I can do to cut corners to save those <laughs> calories. Yeah. All right, so we are just peeling this chicken off pretty much down to the bone here. And we've just about got it. And I mean, I think that only took me, what, like two minutes? Yep. <laughs> not very long. <laughs> And if my dad were here, he would take probably 20 minutes because he would get every piece of meat <laughs> from this chicken. And um, enough if if if, <laughs> if he I'm were done here. it, it will take me probably half an hour because <laughs> I will not use my fingers. Uh, pro yeah, there, there's that too. I have to use a knife and a fork to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I uh, and I, some people laugh about me about that yeah you are you a girly girl pilar it's, i don't know what it is it but uh, <laughs> somehow uh, i just cannot touch you know the food i don't blame you <laughs> it's not the most satisfying touch but i will say um i do watch a lot of julia child videos yeah and, um, and she touches she, she's always she telling always you get did. in there and i just i love her like if you go, if, if, you know, if, if you have access to YouTube, which I'm assuming everybody that watches the show probably does. I used to watch her back in 1979 and 1980. I love her. When we moved to the States. And mm -hmm. uh, back then, I was not too much, you know. Mm -hmm. Back then, I was touching the food. but <laughs> Back then, times have changed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I love her shows. Um, yeah. You know, they're just classic. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, she taught me a lot, and as well as my dad. My dad taught me how to cook a lot, and my mom too. If she's watching this, she would be very upset if I did not tell her that she did yeah. as well. Both of my parents. So yes. Um, but so after we cut this chicken up here off of this, so right now we've kind of just got it here in lots of chunks here. So. Smells delicious. Yes, and it's already that, that great rotisserie flavor. Oh, I, I got this for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was ready. With you are that. ready. You are ready. <laughs> I'm going to just take my knife. Uh huh. And I'm just going to just kind of chop Make it up. Make sure that they're very small. That's right, because it's going to go in the tacos and the mixture. Okay. So we're just going to cut this up nice and easy so that it can go in the tacos. And, you know, if you see a bone, take the bone out because you may have missed one. So we're just going to shred this up. And, you know, I've also seen where, you know, you can take your KitchenAid and throw it in there and kind of blend it up a little bit. I know a lot of you that are watching this, oops, see, there's a bone. A lot of you that are watching this probably have done the um, barbecue. The yeah. yeah, you know, where you, you can make the barbecue in your um, crock pot, which is delicious and easy. and. Um, a cheat for that, to separate it, is you just take it out and you put it in your KitchenAid mixer. You blend it on slow for just a few minutes, and it'll it'll it will do it. Yeah. And you know, I even think that maybe you can do this also with a steak. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, not only chicken, but maybe you can mm -hmm. do oh, some uh, steak tacos. Yeah. Yeah, a steak and pork and <clears throat> yeah. I love any taco. I even shrimp and uh, oh yeah. And they have they have tongue. Tacos. Oh, what is that? Tongue. Tongue of what? A beef? A cow? A cow. What does it taste of like? Of course. It's actually delicious. Really? It's actually You're super making that next. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I believe you, Pilar. <laughs> <laughs> Go to any Mexican restaurant and I, ask for tongue. I might be tacos. too southern for that. Might be too southern for that. <laughs> yeah. Ask for tongue tacos. They'll be like, Pilar sent you? <laughs> <laughs> but they do have them. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we got our meat ready. All right. Next, I'm just going to take my onion here. Okay. And I'm going to chop it up really quickly. All right. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's take a short break while we get your, the onion going, and we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Helen Powell. I'm the owner and operator of Careers in Cosmetology. Since I've been enrolled in Careers in Cosmetology, I've learned a lot and I look forward to a bright future in cosmetology thanks to Helen Powell. 
Hello, my name is Shelly Steff. I have been a stay-at-home mom for 18 years. Coming to school here has been a wonderful blessing. I feel very privileged to come to school. I feel very privileged to know Miss Helen. Anyone that has not been to school, I encourage them to come on. Coming to the school has been a, made a great difference in my life, in my family's life. I just, I really enjoy it. If you want an exciting, profitable career, come see us. Choose the convenience of Neighbors Express and get friendly, courteous service every time you visit any of our convenient locations. Fill up with pay at the pump and take advantage of our bigger and better selection of beverages and tobacco products. And buy 12 packs of Pepsi products, two for $6.99. Enjoy the popular crushed ice with your favorite fountain drink. Also enjoy a fresh hot breakfast. Stop by for lunch or dinner. It's always fresh, always convenient at Neighbors Express. Now located at I-16 and 441 and in Cedar Grove, providing farm fuel for all our customers. Count on the convenience of Neighbors Express. All right, we're making these delicious baked tacos, well, chicken tacos. And um, I'm here with Lindsay Black. She knows so much about food that I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we like the same food, so it works yes. really well. Yes. Um, so we're making the easy oven baked chicken tacos. We're doing the mild version, but again, you can make it spicy. So next up, we're just going to take our onion and we're going to cut it in half here. Now, do we need to kind of um, preheat the oven? Yes. So pre preheat, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So right when you uh, finish stuffing your tacos, you can stuff it, stick it right in there. Okay. You know, I was thinking, um, you mentioned the hard shell tacos. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it, it would be kind of hard to just put everything in the oven with the hard shells mm -hmm. and everything. I think it's, the idea of it's having easier. soft tacos is mm -hmm. a lot easier. Now for the neat freaks like you and I, Pilar, yes. <laughs> the uh, if the hard taco, you can, it'll stuff in there, but you know when you go to reheat it the next day, it gets a little mushy, soggy, yeah. Um, and also, you know, some people love the hard shell, and I don't, I don't blame them, but it's so hard for me to eat. I, it just spills everywhere. So <laughs> I tend to be a soft shell girl, but I totally understand people who love the hard shell. Yeah. So we're just gonna cut up our onion here. I don't have too much room. I might need to switch sides with you, Pilar, if you don't you mind. Thank you. Here we go. Now we're, we're cooking. cooking. So we're just going to chop up our onion. Um, and I've already got the um, skillet on the stove preheating. Mm -hmm. They're on medium. And you're just going to put in a little bit of olive oil in your pan. So we're going to be able to just throw these onions in there. And you want to chop them up, you know, dice them. Not, not you know, so they're pretty. They'll go Small. into the taco, right. So I'm just going to... Dice these up. Are we going to use only half of the onion? Yes, only half of the onion. Now, uh, last weekend we were at the beach and um, we, I had to feed 15 people. So wow. we actually tripled this recipe. And so I did onion and a half. Uh, we had oh, three wow. chickens. And um, honestly, it only took me probably about 15 m more minutes. And I had people to help me peel the chicken, so it, it went really I mean, fast. She, she had to throw that in. <laughs> she had people to help her. I did. It was nice. Chicken. I tell you, if I'm going to cook for that many people, they better have a few volunteers they to help, help me out, yeah. right? I, you know, I... <laughs> I would have helped you if I had some gloves on. Oh, them. no, no. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. I see. No, no. <laughs> One chicken I can handle. I can handle it. But um, it was pretty yeah, fast. Yeah, that many and people. That, yeah. Yeah, they better help. They did, yeah. It was, a, you know, a bunch of couples, so they were ready to feed their husbands, you know. <laughs> All right, so we've got the... Um, the onion. Onion pretty much ready here. Okay, so. So I'm going to get my, I'm going to put some olive oil in the pan. Oh, okay. You want to do that for me real quick? You, the, oh, um, you have the yeah. oil there? You know how you just, you know, squeeze it to get about a tablespoon. So only one squeeze. There you go. There you go. Oh, you squeeze both mm -hmm. sides. Okay, got it. There you go. All right. This is another gadget that is cool, <laughs> very cool. Oh yeah, all right, so we're gonna take our onions. And 
try not to drop as many as I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take our onions. We're going to saute those until they're translucent. will cook for, I would say, about 30 seconds. So we've got our onions cooking here. Um, we're going to cook those until they're translucent. Uh -huh. And then we're going to add our chicken to the, to the pan here. Okay. Right. So next we're going to add the chicken to our onions here. And our onions have been um, cooking here for about a minute to a minute and a half. Now, Lindsay, do you use salt or pepper or something for your onions or no? I don't. You you can, but we try not to add salt and pepper um, as much as we can to kind of save that sodium because you're going to have the beans uh -huh. um, and, and all this stuff. Plenty, yeah. So, um, so we've got the onion sautéed here. They are just about right. They're golden, translucent. They got a little bit of color on them, and I'm going to add the chicken. Now, also, <clears throat> do we use tomatoes? Yes. So, in this dish, you will add some diced tomatoes just to give it a little bit of flavor. So, um, I usually add about a half a can of diced tomatoes to this dish to kind of give it just a little bit of tomato flavor. All right. All right. So, we've got the chicken cooking here. And really just wanting it to kind of meld together with our onions. So next you're going to take your taco seasoning and you're just going to toss it in there. And you definitely want to cut the top of it. And dump it in there and then stir it around and cook it in there all together. Okay. And, you know, usually it's about just a minute between each of these transitions. So we're just tossing this in here and coating the chicken and the onions with the seasoning so it has some of that flavor. <clears throat> yeah. All right. And then we're going to take some of our tomatoes. All right. Just like that. I just used about half the can. Added that. And then we're going to take our chilies here. And these are just uh, mild green chilies. If you like, again, if you're a spicy person, you can get the spicy uh, chilies, or you can do like jalapenos um, and add those in there. And it just kind of adds a little bit of more flavor for you. Yeah, but these are mild, right? These I mean, are mild. Flavor, but not spicy not hot. Not spicy hot. These are going to be savory, not spicy. Okay. So we just take our green chilies and just so dump you're gonna them in use there. the whole thing, huh? We're gonna use the whole thing, and they're not spicy. Okay. I was worried about that too. Just flavor, but not spicy. Just a little bit of flavor. It just kind of adds a little bit of almost kind of like a tangy flavor to it. Like so we're just mixing that all in. I wish you can smell this. It smells just so delicious. It does. So you can kind of see here, it's kind of coming together just like you would see in your shredded tacos at the restaurant, and I, that's why I just love it. It's just, it's just so similar yes. and easy. We have our chicken ready. We got our chicken ready. It smells delicious. So now what, we're going to start doing the tortillas? Yes. Now this is the fun part. Now we're going to stuff our tacos, and you can, you know, be creative with this. If you like certain toppings, if you want to add cilantro or peppers, um, now's the time that you can do that here. And so we're just going to take our tacos. Again, I did the whole grain, a little bit healthier here. And we're going to take the tacos, and we're going to, we have some refried beans here, just, just the traditional kind. Uh-huh. And we are going to spread the refried beans just on the taco, just like this. Let me get another spoon. And, and you can buy them or you can even do it yourself, but mm -hmm. in this case, you know, oh. we want to... Yeah. We want to make it at home because you get a lot more for your money yeah. and you know exactly what's going in your food, right? right. You're, right. you're in control. 
Yeah. So um, we're going to take the beans here and we're just spreading, spreading them just like this. And you can do an assembly line. You get the whole family I involved. Can I, yeah, I can help you with um, that. <laughs> oh, no, this is good. So depending on how many people you need to feed, yeah, you can. So this, this recipe should feed four to six people. So now we've got our delicious mixture chicken. here. We've got the chicken and the tomatoes and the green chilies and the onions and that delicious seasoning yeah. mixed in with that rotisserie chicken. So all we're going to do is just take and just put it right on there. <laughs> just like that. Now we're going to take our cheese and we're going to fill it up, fill them with a little bit of cheese inside and then we're going to top them with a lot of cheese. <laughs> so, cheese here, cheese. Wow. And if you like the four cheese, you know, you could use that kind. Just like that. And then we're just going to roll them up. Are we using this or, or that would be after? That's going to be afterwards when we, um, when we go to eat them. Okay. So, then we're going to take them. And we're just going to fold them in just like so. So they're going to kind of hold. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah, if you don't mind, we're just going to kind of hold it right there. Okay. See how many we can fit in here. All right. And let's see there. Just like that. Hold it up in there. There we go. And kind of like maybe let them go just a little bit. And then that's it. Simple, Simple easy, easy, delicious. The whole family. <laughs> and then I like to fit as many as possible. Yeah. <laughs> in there. So there we go. There you so go. So we are packed up right here, and now we're gonna add cheese to the top, and we are just gonna kind of go a little crazy. So we know that these five are the Mexican cheese. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Go there. Are Three cheese on those. With that. There you go. All right. And then that one. And then you're going to top the others with the mozzarella. And the mozzarella. There we go. Yep. There you go. And then we're going to stick them in the oven and bake them for 12 to 14 minutes or just until you see the, that the, the cheese, cheese is, is melted. Exactly, so you know, they're already pretty much cooked. You just kind of like to make the, the, the taco a little crispy. And this, and this is a <laughs> where the cheese is just flung so and it is all over the place. But it doesn't matter, it's gonna taste just delicious. That's right. So we're gonna put this in the oven and we'll be right back. I'm Locke Wilford at Dublin Auto Outlet. Nobody beats our prices and nobody beats our selection. Clean, late model vehicles. If we don't have it, we'll get it. Dublin Auto Outlet, downtown, across from the new Dairy Queen. Since 1954, Lakes Alignment has stood behind every job they've done. At Blake and all his technicians are among the most skilled and experienced technicians in the industry. You can be assured every job is done right, from front end work to brake work are choosing the best tires for your vehicle. Blake's Alima carries a full line of tires, including quality Toyo tires. Count on the best. Choose Lakes Alignment, located just off Central Drive at East Dublin. Call 272-4230. And on behalf of everyone at Lakes Alignment, best wishes on the road ahead to the graduates of 2017. All right, we have our tacos in the oven, and uh, we have our avocado here, and we have our tortillas. Mm -hmm. So I was on the internet a couple weeks ago, and I saw a her. video of this little amazing gadget. Gadget. It is a avocado slicer, and so I haven't used it yet. So we're gonna try it right now. We're gonna try it together. Yeah, and see how it goes. <laughs> so it's three parts. It's got the knife here, and then it's got the piece that takes out the seed. Oh, you're kidding And me. then this guts it. The slicer. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. We're okay. gonna, this is live. We're going to see what happens. <laughs> so we're going to take, oh, okay. That works pretty well. Yeah. 
I'm going to take it here and slice it. So Perfect. looking good on that. All right. Okay. So it's mm, a nice avocado. Now we're going to take our piece here and to it's get supposed to. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. And so, okay, well. And we'll, now we'll, how, we'll figure now, that part out next. Figure out how to take it out. There we go. Oh, okay. Be careful. So, be careful. <laughs> there's that. Okay. And now this little piece here is supposed to just fit right in here. Look at that. Oh, goodness. So it's already sliced for you. Oh, no way. <laughs> I mean... Amazing gadgets of the world here. So uh -oh. that is an avocado. Oh my god. Let's try it one more time here. So we're just gonna take it and slice it, it for comes, you. It gets all of it. It gets all of it out here. And it's gonna it get, does get a little messy on your fingers, but it looks like it gets just about all of that avocado that you are usually taking your knife and trying to dig out. Yes. So we can use this to put on top of our tacos or I've got some um, salsa here that we're going to try. Huh. See how that goes. Well, you saw it here. Saw it she here. Tried, she tried her gadget. Tried it. I can see, you know, every time she shows me something, I end up buying it. <laughs> I, I am a kitchen, a, a kitchen gadget enthusiast, so <laughs> if you have a kitchen gadget that you love, please share it with me. Yeah. I'd love to see it. Um, you can go to my website, bitesandbrunches.com, or on my Facebook page, send it to me. Yeah. Send it to Pilar, yes. send it to TV35. I want to see it. I love yes. a good get kitchen gadget, um, and I, I'd love to try it out. So yeah. there we go. Well, that was good. So. That's our avocado. Yeah. I have not seen anything like this before. I hadn't either. I saw it, and I said, I need that. Hey, that needs to be purchased right now. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so look at that. Ha, ha. Okay, that's the hard part. There we go. I'm afraid I'm gonna like slice my finger open. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't say that's the, that. That's the whole. That's the whole part. That's the whole purpose of this. Is so that you don't have to. You know how you take it and you're supposed to. You're with your knife and yeah. trying to get the seed out. Exactly. So then we just. Oh, there's a little. Avocado hair. Avocado hair. <laughs> so we're gonna take it. Oh, this one's not as ripe as the other one. So I guess it's going to be easier or it's harder? harder. Yeah, harder? it's not quite. Well, I mean, it all came out, but it's not quite as soft. But then you can see each slice. I mean, yeah. just. There we go. I feel like I probably am not doing this as well as the instructions probably call for. <laughs> <laughs> And go. probably the video that you watch or something. <laughs> yes. It just, you know, everything looks easier when you watch somebody else do it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's like, you know, when we did the zucchini and mm -hmm. and with the machine. Yeah. I was explaining to my mom, you know, Lindsay did it so easy. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing, you're like, how do I get this thing even? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but at the end, you know, it worked, all worked, it worked very well. All right, so this is it. This is it. We have the delicious tacos here, and yeah. Lindsay's going to show us how they look like. Yes, so we've got our four cheese Mexican and our mozzarella. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to take it out, one of them out here. They have been baked for about 15 minutes. And don't worry if you kind of cut off one from the next one. Um, but we're just going to take it out just like so. Wow. And it is baked. So it's going to be really hot, and then you can take um, some of your avocado here, and you can put it on, put top. It on top. Um, and then I'm going to put some of this delicious peppery so corn salsa, and just a little better. And, and again, and I imagine like sour cream or mm -hmm. uh, fresh tomatoes. I mean, whatever. Pico de gallo. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite. So <laughs> sour, Lots of yeah. cilantro. Sour cream, cilantro, mm. um, really anything. Whatever you Look like. Look at this. You know, when you have a lot of people coming to your house, this is simple. This is easy. And again, I mean, people can help you. Yeah. Not like me. <laughs> Just not the chicken part. Not the but chicken everything part. Else, I can help with everything else. I, or put some gloves and I help with the yeah. chicken part. But this is delicious. Once again, 
You did it. You hit a home run. Thank you so much. Hey, and thank you so Lindsay, much. Lindsay, I really enjoy uh, being <laughs> here and learning uh, your recipes. And um, thanks for staying with me and doing the show. And for all of you out there, thank you so much. And I wish you were here to enjoy this. And until next time. <laughs>